Hi, my name is Leo. I'm the owner of Orchard Audio. And in this video, I would like to show you how to assemble your Pecan Pie DAC into the optional aluminum case. When you buy the case, it comes with everything that you need to do the assembly except for the tools and the Raspberry Pi. So the tools that you need are small pair of pliers, Phillips head screwdriver, small flat head screwdriver, and a 1 16th inch Allen wrench. Okay, so let's get started. First, let's take the case apart. There are a total of six screws, three on each of the sides. I already took five of them out, so I'll just do the one remaining one. Use the Phillips head screwdriver for that. Okay. Put them aside. And then the case just opens up like that. Okay, we're gonna put the case aside also. Okay. The first thing after that that you're gonna wanna do is take your Raspberry Pi and make sure that it already has the programmed SD card in it. Okay, so we're gonna take four 12 millimeter male to female spacers to use as the feet on the pie. Okay, and then we're gonna use the four 14 millimeter spacers to tighten them down like this. Okay. Last one. Okay, so now you have your Raspberry Pi with its four feet and four 14 millimeter spacers on it. Next, you will take the uh, Pecan Pi DAC and put it on top. The Pecan Pie DAC already comes pre-installed with the stacking header, so you don't need to do anything there. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this on top. Okay, so now the Pecan Pie DAC is sitting on top of the Raspberry Pi, and to tighten it down, I'm gonna use four M2.5 screws with the Phillips head screwdriver, okay? Now don't tighten the screws all the way down, just um, very lightly uh, screw them in, okay? Okay, yeah. As you can see, I'm not tightening them right now. I'm just lightly screwing them down. Okay. Last one. Okay. So now we have uh, the Raspberry Pi and the uh, Pecan Pi DAC assembled on top with as you can see here, the four screws. Okay, so now we're gonna put this into the bottom portion of the case, okay? But before we do that, there is a nut and washer on the power connector that needs to be taken off. Okay, so I'm gonna take the nut off here and the washer. Okay, I'm gonna Leave them out for now. Okay, so now what you do is you put this assembly inside the bottom portion of the case and you just lightly slide it in, okay, like this. And now you can see the connectors 
are coming out the back. So uh, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the four self-tapping XLR connector screws and screw in the XLR connectors. Okay, so, and there's four holes for that. One, two, three, four, okay. All right, so I have three of the screws in already. I'm gonna do the last one. And these screws you can tighten down once all four are in. Okay. Now, uh, we're gonna take, take the nut and washer that we took off the power connector and put um, those on. So washer goes first, then the nut. And to tighten down the nut, you can use the pliers. Just lightly tighten it. It doesn't have to be super tight on there. Okay, like that. Okay, so now all the connectors um, are tightened down on the unit. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna take the remaining M 2.5 screws to screw the um, whole assembly to the bottom of the case. Um, see the, um, those standoffs line up with the holes on the bottom. And you can tighten those down as well. I'm gonna put the last one in so you can see this one. Okay, there we go. Tighten down, tighten down. Tighten down. Okay. So now those four screws that we didn't tighten earlier, we can go ahead and tighten those now. But again, we don't need a lot of pressure, just uh, make sure that they're tightened down. Okay, so the base with the Raspberry Pi and the Pecan Pi DAC is completed. Okay. So next, we're going to put the potentiometer and the knob into the cover, okay? So the potentiometer already comes uh, with the wires soldered and everything. 
So uh, you have to take the nut and the washer off the potentiometer. Okay, and then the potentiometer lines up with these two holes here from the back. Okay, there we go. There's a little hole for a notch that's in there. Make sure that that notch goes into the small hole, okay? And then, um, the washer goes on there, and then the nut. Okay, and again, um, use the pliers to tighten the nut on there. Okay, like that. And then to put the knob on, <clears throat> there's a little set screw inside of the knob, which you're gonna use the 16th inch Allen wrench for. So you're gonna loosen that up a little bit, okay? And then um, you can put the knob onto the potentiometer and then tighten the set screw to make sure it stays in place. Okay, so I'm gonna tighten the set screw. Okay, so now the knob is on the potentiometer and you can see um, it turns and it's on there uh, real tight, okay? So next, we have to connect the wires from the potentiometer to the Pecan Pi DAC and the order of the wires in this position from left to right is going to be red, white, black, okay? Um, on the final version of the board, there's also going to be markings to indicate uh, which wire color goes into um, which terminal, okay? But again, from left to right, it's red, white, black. Okay, and you can see I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so you can see better here. Okay, I've inserted the wires into the terminal. And as you can see, it's red, white, black. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my flathead screwdriver to tighten the wires in there. Okay. Okay, and you can pull on the wires just lightly to make sure that um, they're tightened in and they don't come out of the terminal. Okay. So lastly, uh, now you can put the cover onto the base. Okay. So I'll make sure um, the wires go inside. Okay. And we put the cover on the base. And the only thing that's left to do now is to um, uh, tighten the cover back with the six uh, screws that we took out earlier. And there you have it. Uh, your Pecan Pie DAC is assembled into the aluminum case and it's ready to go. All you will have to do is plug in the power.